If you want to see the Syracuse softball team in Syracuse, you'll have to wait nearly two months. The Orange kicks off the year with a six week road trip. It's exhausting, but playing at home in February isn't really an option. After about the fourth weekend, it gets tiring. Um, I give these girls a lot of credit for keeping up with their schoolwork um, with that kind of a schedule. There's a few perks to constantly being on the move, mainly the chance for players to have a little fun in hotels. We took all the towels out of her bathroom, so she was kind of upset. But then she got back at us because she went in and got she got out of the bathroom and she had like a t uh, the curtain shower curtain over her. I think that team travel is the greatest way to bond. I think that that's once they start getting on the road um, and people start coming out of their shell, they start to get more comfortable with each other because they're living together for you know five six weeks straight. But there's more to traveling than just harassing teammates. Going to Palm Springs and Honolulu is a nice change of pace from central New York. We love to get out of like like out of here and like play in warm weather and like a lot of us get to see our family. In February, the average temperature in Syracuse is 25 degrees, just a little too cold to play softball outside. And that's one reason why the Orange goes to places like California and Hawaii to play their games. And it probably doesn't hurt that their fields aren't covered in snow. It's a good opportunity to play ball in warm weather. Um, against really good competition and we get to choose where we go. What about the Orange playing a game in Syracuse in the snow? Is that a possibility? No. What? In the snow? I do not like playing in the cold. It hurts so much. I don't think we could even do that. Oh well. Looks like Syracuse will have to settle for quality team bonding and the chance to play softball in beautiful weather. Ted Goldberg, NCC News.